Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's tutorial, I'll show you how to easily blur the background of your photos using Affinity Photo. Let's get started. First, open the image in Affinity Photo. Next, rename the image layer from Background to Original. Now, duplicate this original layer by pressing Ctrl plus J. Hide the original layer. Rename this layer to Original Copy. Using the Selection Brush tool, select the subject. Next, refine the hair of the subject. Once satisfied with the refining, click Apply. With the subject still selected, click on the Mask Layer button at the bottom of the Layers panel to create a mask of the subject. Then, press Ctrl plus D to deselect. As you can see, we still have some work to do with our mask to make it look better. Select the mask and then use the paintbrush tool to clean up the edges. It is an easy but time-consuming process. After selecting the brush tool, decrease the opacity to around 80%. Make sure to have a low flow and 0% hardness. Then, with a soft, small, round brush, paint in black on the mask to remove excess parts and paint in white to add necessary parts. Press Shift plus X to switch the color from black to white and vice versa. So white will reveal or add to the mask and black will remove from the mask. At this point, our subject is separated from the background. Rename the subject layer from Original Copy to Subject. Next, create a duplicate of the original image layer. Unhide it and rename it to Background. You can blur the background at this point, but it would not look quite right. Let me show you. Let's add Gaussian Blur to our background. Check the Preserve Alpha checkbox and increase the radius. If you look closer, you can see a halo around the subject. This is because we still have the subject in the background layer, which is also getting blurred. To fix this, we need to remove the subject from the background. First, I will remove the blur filter from the background, then select the background layer and holding the control key, click on the subject layer to get back the subject selection. Then hide the subject layer. I am going to expand my selection a little bit. To do so, go to Select and click on Grow Shrink. I will expand my selection by around 14 pixels. Then go to Edit and click on In Paint. Now, Affinity Photo will take all the background information that's outside of the selection and fill it in where our subject was. Press Ctrl plus D to deselect. Now you can see the subject is gone, but the background doesn't look quite right. You can fix this manually using the in-paint brush. I will fix these weird floating hairs and edges. Most of the middle parts are going to be hidden by our subject layer, so you can leave them as they are. Now, unhide the subject layer. Then, apply a Gaussian Blur to our background. Increase the Blur Radius and check the Preserve Alpha checkbox to remove white edges. I will keep the Blur Radius around 18 pixels. For a better blur effect, you can also use Depth of Field Blur. For this image, I want less blur on the right side and more blur on the left side. Play with the settings and adjust the blur radius to get a nice blurred background. And that's it! You've successfully blurred the background of your image using Affinity Photo. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. 
Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tutorials like this. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.